In this lesson, I'm gonna take the course of the song Set and All and show you how you can actually use minor pentatonic scales to solo over the whole tune. Pentatonic scales are maybe not what you associate with jazz because you're thinking more about chromatic leading notes and extensions and altered scales and melodic minor and stuff like that. But actually, the pentatonic scale is really an important part of the modern jazz sound. And if you're trying to get into jazz and you're playing other genres like blues or rock, then probably you already know your pentatonic scales in all positions. And you can actually use that knowledge quite well if you want to try and play through a jazz standard. So that's what I'm going to try and go over in this lesson. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to look at is just the chord progression. And the second all is um, a standard, so it's a 32 bar composition. Uh, it's an AABA form, which means that it has uh, an A part that uh, is 8 bars long and that is played twice, then you get a bridge, so the B part, which is also 8 bars, and then you repeat the A at the end. So we only need to look at 2 times 8 bars to uh, actually have all the chords covered. So the way I'm going to go over the chords is actually following a lesson that I've already made that's called uh, How to Play Jazz Chords. So if you want to check out more stuff about how to play through a jazz standard just playing the harmony, then um, you can check out that lesson. Uh, what we should maybe notice is that Sandal is in the key of C, and uh, the first progression we get is a 2-5, that's a, actually the 2-5 of the key, so D minor 7 to G7, and then we get that repeated again. Then we move the whole thing up a whole step, so E minor, A7, E minor 7, A7, and then we get uh, again two 2-5s, two but then uh, moving chromatically, so A minor 7, D7, A flat minor, D flat 7, and then back to the root of the key, so the tonic, C major 7. And then in the case that we're going back to the to an A again, so if we're not going to the bridge, you would have E minor A7 again. So for the B part of set and all, uh, we actually have what is called uh, an Ellington bridge, uh, which means that we get a cadence to the fourth degree, so the fourth degree of C is F, uh, and the cadence is of course a 2-5, so that's a G minor 7, C7, and that's repeated, and then it goes to F major 7 for 2 bars. And then we get uh, the dominant of the dominant, and in this case that's played by um, a 2 5. So the dominant of uh, C is G7, and the dominant of G7 is uh, D7. So we get A minor, D7, A minor, D7, and then D minor, and then G7. And in this uh, lesson, I chose to make it a G7 altered, uh, just to sort of throw one more scale in there. So now we have the chords, and uh, I suggest you try and play through the whole song in the correct form, so like really as an AABA, and try to just get an idea about how it sounds, because it's going to help you a lot if you try to solo over it using the pentatonic scales. Uh, you can also check out, I have a video of me soloing over it uh, on my channel, uh, I'll try and link to that as well. Now we need the pentatonic scales for the different chords, and uh, you might have noticed that a lot of the progressions in here are just these basic 2 5 progressions. Uh, that are one bar long. Uh, there are like two variations you get this type or this type, and we're going to treat them the same way. So, the scale that you need for that is uh, the scale of the two chord. So, I suggest you use for the D minor 7, G7, you would use D uh, minor pentatonic. And um, we can, of course, just move that around. Uh, so, we can do the same. So, E minor for this one, and A minor here, and uh, a flat minor here. Then we have another type of chord that's the major seven. So we have a E major, uh, sorry, a C major seven and an F major seven. And um, here we're going to use the minor pentatonic from the third of the chord. So C major, the third of the chord is of, uh, of course an E, and uh, the pentatonic scale is an E minor. And then just for variation, I added, uh, at the end of the bridge, a G7 altered. And uh, for the G7 altered, we're gonna use um, a B-flat minor pentatonic. So in this position, that could be something like this. So now we have some rules to choose minor pentatonic scales uh, for the different parts of the progression. If you want to check out more about using these different minor pentatonic scales on different chords, and also a little bit more about how to make melodies with it, and uh, maybe looking a little bit deeper into that, then you can check out some of the other uh, lessons I made on using pentatonic scales on jazz progressions. I'll link to that playlist also here. 
Uh, so for this progression, let's start with the A part. So uh, the first is of course um, this D minor seven G seven, and uh, I'm gonna put all the scales around this sort of eighth position. Uh, so that's this D minor, and that's twice of course. Then we get E minor seven A seven twice, and that will be this one. So E minor, then A minor seven D seven. That would be this A minor. And then we get A flat minor, D flat 7. That would be A flat uh, minor pentatonic. And then we're back on C major, and that would be this E minor. And then if it's going back to the to another A, then we can add this 2 5 at the end and then use E minor. On that. And for the bridge, we have. G minor 7, C7, so that would be uh, G minor, so that would be here. And uh, of course, this is repeated. Then we get F major 7, and the third of F major 7, or the third of uh, F major is A, so that's A minor pentatonic, so that's this one. And that's two bars, so I'm playing it twice. Then we have uh, a minor 7, D7, and actually I'm using A minor for that one as well, so... And that's also two bars. And then we get a D minor 7. And for the D minor 7, I'm, I'm just using a D minor 7 pentatonic, that makes the most sense, so... And then at the end of the bridge, uh, I actually changed the chord to play a G7 altered. Uh, and for the altered scale you're using the minor pentatonic from the minor third, so the minor third of, uh, of G is B flat, so that's this. So now you have all the pentatonic scales for the whole song, and probably the way you want to practice this is to just take the uh, the exercise, the way I've written it down, and try and play it in time. So that means really playing like. really simple you want to be able to do that through the whole song with uh, so also with the bridge and um, then maybe try and see if you can connect the course to try and play some short solos uh, or some slow solos with it and what you could start with as sort of a strategy for making melodies is that if you go from one chord to the next and we say for for the first uh, two scales we have like E minor and then we get the E minor scale and if you look at the notes that are in one scale but not the other one and then try to sort of hit those when you're changing, then you can really hear that, that the scales are changing and also therefore the chords are changing. So in this case, um, the difference between a D minor 7 and an E minor 7 is of course that there's a C and an F in D minor and they sort of move down to become B and E on the E minor. So you try to make a solo uh, solo line that, that sort of emphasizes that. So if I choose the B is probably the strongest note of the, uh, the two and then try to target that then um, if I play a bar of uh, D minor pentatonic and then go to, then aim for the B, then you get this. Or just sort of different ways to get there. If I target the E, it's going to be something like this. And that way you can sort of make it clear to yourself when the chords are changing and uh, you're going to be able to play some solos that really reflect the harmony a lot better. Um, and I think that's kind of the point when you're starting to get into jazz and it's also something you anyway want to be aware of because you want to be able to play stuff that really tells you where you are in the song in terms of that it kind of follows the chords. So with these exercises and these scales you can get started working on soloing over satin doll with just pentatonic scales. Uh, I think it's a good place to start if you want to explore pentatonic sound in jazz and also if you're coming from already knowing your pentatonic scales and want to try to play a jazz standard I think it's also really an, an okay standard to start with. If you want to download a PDF of the examples from uh, this lesson, then you can go to the article that's accompanying the lesson on my website. Uh, there's a PDF download of all the examples. Uh, when you're on my website, you can also subscribe to my newsletter if you want to stay up to date with uh, what's happening, if I'm adding new uh, lessons to my web store, or uh, if I'm uh, playing somewhere and uh, other things that are happening like uh, interviews and stuff like that. 
if this is the first time you see one of my lessons, then uh, you can of course subscribe to my channel. Uh, I uh, publish a new lesson every Thursday, and I've been doing this for two years now. So there's already really a lot of lessons on jazz guitar, improvising, uh, jazz chords, and uh, that kind of stuff on my channel to explore. Um, and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for um, for other lessons or questions about this lesson, then uh, leave a comment on uh, on the video, and then I'll try to get back to you. Uh, you can of course also connect with me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, Google Plus. So uh, you connect with me there and uh, let me know if you have a question or an idea. Um, another thing you can do is also if you have a general question about playing guitar or uh, um, the gear that I use or the gear that you you want to use, stuff like that, then um, you can uh, leave a question uh, on my one of my Q and A videos. Uh, I try to make these regular Q and A videos where I try to answer the questions that uh, you guys are giving me, so uh, you can check those out on my channel as well. That's about it for this week, thank you for watching and uh, until next week.